reason for, for all of that. Um, and it's true for, as I said, it's true for mobile brand, broadband, uh, which is really uh, the strategic network, you know, as I, I pointed out before. You know, uh, reasonable traffic management is going to be essential uh, to make these networks uh, work. We, we, we've always recognized that at Google. But, you know, you know, we, we've, uh, you, you know, we've signed common sort of position papers and, and we've done op-eds and so forth with, our, with folks at Verizon's, uh, you know, to that effect. So we understand that, that, that this is important, but we really have to insist, uh, and this is part of where we got Verizon to go uh, in some of these joint statements, is that operators should not start favoring uh, some services uh, over other services. And it turns out not to be all that controversial. You know, Vodafone vo uh, wrote uh, recently in a public statement that they, they will treat, that they're committing to treat all content equally regardless of its author or its source. So it's clear that there's middle ground emerging in, in what is sometimes a heated debate about network neutrality, network management. Uh, but the, the middle ground is built on a pretty elementary, uh, elementary observation that, uh, you know, like everybody here, telcos have a powerful stake in, in the inter internet growing in an open way. So uh, in, in closing, let me just say that, um, you know, openness is probably not, it's not easy for, for, for lots of big companies. Um, you know, it requires giving up control and it requires leading by example rather than fiat, but it's clearly going to be the best strategy for the web. My colleague uh, Vic Gondotra said at a recent uh, developer conference that we hosted that the internet is a platform controlled by none of us and therefore it's the only platform truly controlled by all of us. We believe that an open, uh, uh, that open creates the most opportunity for all and that it'll ultimately win on the internet and then cascade across many other sectors. The future of government is transparency. The future of commerce is information symmetry. The future of culture is freedom. The future of science and medicine is collaboration. The future of entertainment is participation. You get the picture. And if we're going to be, uh, be able to do justice to the Commission's call for boldness and ambition, we probably ought to be open to a little bit of uh, disruption as well. So uh, thanks very much, and I look forward to your questions. David, if you um, just stay for one, I mean, we're going to come back for a Q&A later, but I just had one, one quick question, if sure. I could. Sure. Um, you know, we're talking about lock-in, the problem with the old system. Uh, it, what is the danger in this new uh, trend that you, you discussed, the cloud, the development of the cloud? Isn't there a danger that we're going to get locked into the cloud? I mean, what is, is not, there's not a danger that history will repeat itself? Well, I think there is a danger 